Hello, I'm Olivier Gonzalez. I am the former engineering manager for composition analysis. And this is a recording for the upcoming virtual team day to highlight the priorities, challenges, and things that I'm proud of. For the priorities, reaching general availability for continuous reliability scans, otherwise called CVS, is one of our top priorities. Um, currently, CVS has been launched as an experiment, which means it's an opt-in feature which reduces uh, its adoption. So uh, switching to GA will allow a global uh, enablement of that feature. The second one is delivering continuous rapid scans for container scanning, because currently the experiment is focused on the independence scanning. That will allow also uh, to increase our ability to create reliability automatically, not only for dependency scanning, but also for container scanning. The next step is to do container scanning in the container registry by relying on the foundations that we've laid down with continuous scans. Uh, this is a great improvement because today, if you want to scan multiple images, you have to set up multiple CI jobs. Going forward and relying on CVS, we could be able to scan things directly in the registry when you're pushing your images there. And then we're looking at uh, integrating the EPSS score, which is uh, a probability of exploitability of a given CVE in the next um, 30 days. Um, this would help our users to prioritize the vulnerabilities and, and better assess uh, in which order they want to address them. As far as the challenges, historically in composition analysis, we often have integration issues with the many languages and package manager that we support. We regularly have to keep up with the new published versions or in maintaining older ones. So that adds up on our maintenance load. We've started to review our maintenance policy and look forward to apply this for the next major releases to kind of reduce our maintenance burden. Getting away from the pipelines, this is really uh, a, a very, very big paradigm shift. It has a lot of consequences and uh, it's really exciting. It's uh, what um, CVS is starting off uh, but we have a lot more to do. We're facing many challenges in doing that, but that will unlock a lot more interesting features. Um, that's a, a long-term effort that uh, I'm particularly excited into, uh, uh, into diving more about because yeah, it, it has a lot of potential. Uh, Business-wise, it's also a great opportunity to open a new market where uh, people could use uh, security features without having to set up the, 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 the CI. So uh, that, that's a great improvement on that perspective. Um, the last one would be um, the integration of external services with GitLab, uh, with the race platform itself, uh, including in the offline environment. That's one of the big uh, challenges we faced when starting continuous scans. And what we had uh, uh, a year ago when we started that initiative in terms of architecture available for us was very much, much more limited than today. I'm particularly excited with the uh, runway project, for instance, which uh, opened a new path uh, with uh, a more uh, service-oriented architecture which will unlock new approaches for doing that kind of integration. So uh, that might be something we uh, consider for the next iteration of our, our uh, package metadata database, for instance. As for the things that I'm proud of, the replacement of License Finder with this uh, SBOM uh, CycloneDX based license scanner is an awesome achievement. Um, this started last year with uh, the Rapti research team doing the, the, the very first piece of that. We uh, put that into production at the beginning of the year. Uh, and finally, we were able to remove the uh, all license finder tool in 16.3. Uh, that's been quite a journey, a bumpy one, uh, a lot of lesson learned, uh, but that's really something that uh, all the team should be proud of. Uh, the next big one is uh, the launch of continuous gravity scans as an experiment and hopefully as generally available very soon. Uh, finally, I'm very proud of the team. The, the team has grown a lot and the last year several members joined us. The existing team members have done an excellent job at onboarding them and sharing their knowledge on our various features. And these new team members have very quickly show how they, they are capable and all together they have achieved those great goals. So uh, it's really been a great time being a manager. I'm super expect excited for what's coming up for, uh, for this team and uh, also for me. <laughs> So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, the great things we'll do uh, coming up uh, in the next few months and year. So um, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's really exciting. Thank you very much uh, for watching. I wish you all a great time during this virtual event.